Hey guys, I'm Matthew SFA, and this is our first review from Tactical Airsoft Shop of the AK-74U made by Klashnikov. So yeah guys, I'm going to do the unboxing, it won't be too long, so if not fast by so you can skip ahead and go to the actual review, but let's show us in the box. Got some nice things. This is not true, by the way. It's currently about 380 FPS, not 495. So don't believe that. You've got a nice picture of the AK, three bullets, and some trademarks, and you have a 60th anniversary of some random old guy on the box. So open that up. And what do you get? You get a, ma a manual with all accessories you can buy for it. You know, the basic like, little magazine you can order new things and everything from the manufacturer. AK-47U don't do's and how to's in that. We're in the airsoft shop, that's where you can hear guns in the background. Yeah. Uh, you have a unjamming rod, just a normal um, common unjamming rod you get with most guns. You get a box of something. Which is the charger, it's a two pin European charger, so you're going to want to get an adapter before you get this gun. This gun does come with the battery and charger. 600 round, is it six, yeah, 600 round high capacity magazine. Um, it's like it's got like a wood colour on it, but it's plastic, full plastic. It also comes with a stick battery charger, so I take in to not take it out, but you can see here. Yep. Stick battery charger. It is a 1100 mAh 8.4 volt battery. You're going to want to buy a separate battery for this if you want it to last longer because the, ch the cheap Chinese batteries it usually comes with aren't as good as the ones you can buy separately. And the best part, you get the best bit, the gun, um, which we'll be doing a review in a second. So here goes a review of the AK-74U. I'm going to start from the front and I'm going to work my way right down to the stock. So at the front we have a full metal, I mean full metal, yeah, flash hider at the front. It's kind of extended, and it's got like a little cone shape at the front. It didn't do anything really. It's got, it's got no six millimeter thread in there, so you, I think you'll have to take this off to put a silencer on. But yeah, it gives it a nice look. You also get a front sight um, and a middle sight, which I'll show you down now. It's like a basic AK-74U sight, which you probably see in most video games. The really nice thing about this gun is that the handguard is full wood. The wood is lovely. It's not cheap wood, as you can see here. Full wood. Some of it's you might, you might have to um, sand a bit down, but it's lovely wood, and you ain't gonna it ain't gonna break or crack or anything. And it's all been glossed, and it's really nice. The receiver is full metal, lovely full metal. Um, you've got the charging handle here, which reveals the hop up, which is standard AK hop up in there. You have the fire selector which is safe, full auto and semi. The AK has a really weird um, fire selector but if you're, if you're an AK lover you know about it and you have to get used to it because it's different to a usual G36 standard ones which are middle for semi and down for auto but you'll get used to it. It's got a lovely pistol grip here and it's lovely for ABS plastic, which is a lovely plastic. And there's no, in the standard M4s you would usually have a gear. You could change the gears and things in here, but it's just a screw. And it's a hollow, it's hollow in here. The trigger is full metal and the trigger guard is full metal. So yeah, that's nothing going to break on this. This gun is basically a solid gun. You ain't going to break this as you have to try it. It's, it's, like, it's like a G36 really, solid. You ain't going to break it easily without without really trying to be honest. The stock can be folded here, this button. It's quite stiff at first, but it goes round, clicks into place, so you have a bit more CQB weapon, like that. And the weird thing is, because some the most stocks just pull it out and it comes out, with this you have to put a little catch here, put the catch, and push it down, a little bit wrong there, but it's a bit weird and a bit stiff, you have to get used to that. It'll be easier to get used to it, but you put it this way and it unclips it. Basically. And the stock as well is full. It's plasticky up here, um, which obviously won't be as cold in your cheek if you're resting on it, but it's metal down here. 
and the, it's, a, it's like a rubbery eye, rubberized arse plate um, at the back, which is like all textured here. And yeah, the battery, the battery is housed when you press this button here. Push that up. It takes a stick battery, an 8.4 stick battery in here. A Tamiya connector, it's a, it's a mini type Tamiya connector in here, which you can just put the stick battery in there. It just easily closes and clicks into place. The magnet stand that he comes with is a 600 round high capacity magazine, which is, to be honest, it's a very, it's a nice mag, it ain't gonna break. It's not heavy at all without the ammo in it, so it doesn't give the gun too much of a big weight. But the gun itself is a, it's a, with an easy enough weight, you know, it's not a horrible weight, it's it's a weight that's good enough. You have the sling mounts here, and you've only got one sling mount, but um, so yeah, you have to use a, a one standard point. one point sling here. So just let it drop, you can have a three point or a two point, will not be able to be using this gun. So, yeah, guys, if you would like this gun and you're interested in buying it, Tactical Airsoft to shop have lots of these in stock and they've just come in, they're brand new. So please do check them out, and before I go, the FPS on this gun is 300, uh, 380 FPS. You might have to get a downgraded spring in this because, you know, it's shooting a bit hard for some sights, but yeah. So yeah, so thank you for watching guys. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, and check out Tactical Airsoft if you're interested in this gun. Any comment, any questions about this gun, please comment or inbox me, and we'll get back to you about it. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Alright guys, this is Matt from SFA, join me the other Matt. Alright guys. Um, we're doing some reviews for Tactical Warfare, as we now have a sponsorship from them. So, yeah, this is nice, good stuff from Tactical Airsoft Shop.